in a coin of a cliff between lowland and highland, at the sea down's edge between windward and lee. Walled round with rocks is an inland island, the ghost of a garden fronts the sea. A girdle of brushwood and thorn encloses the steep square slope of the blossomless bed, where the weeds that grow green from the graves of its roses. Now, lie dead. The fields fall southward, abrupt and broken, to the low last edge of the long lone land. If a step should sound or a word be spoken, would a ghost not ra rise at the strange guest's hand? So long have the grey bare walks lain guestless through branches and briars if a man makes way. He shall find no life but the sea winds restless. Night and day. The dense hard passage is blind and stifled, that crawls by a track none turned to climb to the straight waste place that the years have rifled, of all but the thorns that are touched not of time. The thorns he spares when the rose is taken, the rocks are left when he wastes the plain, the wind that wanders, the weeds when shaken. These remain. Not a flower to be pressed of the foot that falls not, as the heart of a dead man the seed plots are dry. From the thicket of thorns whence the nightingale calls not, could she call there were never a rose to reply. Over the meadow that blossom and wither rings but the note of a sea bird song. Only the sun and the rain come hither all year long. The sunburned sear and the rain dishevels one gaunt bleak blossom of scentless breath. Only the wind here hovers and revels in a round where life seems barren as death. Here there was laughing of old, there was weeping, haply of lovers none ever will know, whose eyes went seaward a hundred sleeping years ago. Heart hand fast in a heart as it stood, look thither. Did he whisper, look forth from the flowers to the sea, for the foam flowers endure when the rose blossoms wither, and men that love lightly may die, but we. And the same wind sang, and the same waves whitened, and o'er ever the garden's last petals were shed, and the lips that had whispered, the eyes that had lightened. Love was dead. Or well, they loved their life through, and then went wither, and were once to the end, but what end, who knows? Love deep as the sea, as a rose must wither, as the rose-red seaweed that mocks the rose. Shall the dead take thought for the dead that to love them? What love was ever as deep as a grave? They are loveless now as the grass above them, or the wave. All are at one now, roses and lovers, not known of the cliffs and the fields and the sea. Not a branch of time that has been hovers in the air now soft with the summer to be. Not a breath shall there sweeten the seasons hereafter of the flowers or the lovers that laugh not or weep. When is they that are free now of weeping and laughter? We shall sleep. Here death may deal not again forever, here change may come not till all change end. From the graves that have made they shall rise up never, who have left not living to ravage and rend. Earth, stones, and thorns of the wild ground growing, while the sun and the rain live, these shall be, till the last wind's breath upon all these blowing. Row the sea. Till the slow sea rise and the sheer cliff crumble, Till terrace and meadow the deep gulfs drink, Till the strength of the waves of the high tides humble, The fields that lessen, the rocks that shrink. Here now in his triumph where all things falter, Stretched out on the spoils that his own hand spread, As a god self-slain on his own strange altar. Death lies dead.